After I did my how to skip a bait with my spinning rod, everyone, a lot of you, said, okay, we really need to see it with a bait caster. So here you are, bait caster. The first thing you're gonna need to do is adjust your rod, reel, and bait combo. I'm using a lighter swim bait here just because I like to skip swim baits. They're easier and you only have one hook, less to snag. Anyhow, the first thing you do want to do is push the button, hold your bait, and let it pay out like that with no backlash when the bait stops. And when you're just learning how to do this, you could probably cheat it and just make it just slightly heavier so that it just kind of bunk and just stops. I like to cheat that back just a little because I've, I've had a lot of practice doing this. So bunk and stops, still doesn't backlash, but just slightly, slightly easier on the spool turn. Medium, medium to medium heavy rod with a real springy fast tip. You've got to just like with a spinning rod, you've got to just low rod tip and then just let it go and skip it. Now, there will be some people that are going to say, well, you've got to do a loop cast, do the letter C and let it go. Yes, you could do a circle cast, that's fine. Problem is, if you're just try if you're trying to learn how to skip and you try to do this cast, for me, it works better because I get my rod tip lower to the water, get nicer skips. Uh, word to the wise, don't do that until you're comfortable casting it with a spinning rod level arm first. Either way, we'll get the job done. So I would practice just being a proficient uh, underhand caster casting it wherever you wanted it to go most of the time that's all you need but when you do need to skip it just remember slow and steady wins the race every time just easy skip it just like that